my lighting went bad. Good morning. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. All right. So, good morning, everybody. Um, I said, <clears throat> I, post, I made a post last night asking everyone to vote on some lip colors um, that you thought would be pretty as an eyeshadow, some of your favorite colors. And I posted the picture. Um, and I got a lot of votes, so I appreciate everybody that voted on the lip colors. Say hello when you hop on. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna start on my makeup, of course, primer. Fill in the large pores and fine lines. Um, so I'm going to attempt. We're going to attempt it. Not sure how well it's going to turn out. Um, and so I've got one of the colors I got nine votes on. And that was called Confident. Um, it's like a purpley kind of color. I don't know. It's not like super bright purple. It's like a like a pale purple um i'm gonna show it to you this is the color we'll just go ahead and swab it on my hand there we go it's really pretty i'm actually glad you guys picked this one so that's the purple color i'm gonna attempt that on my eye so that got nine votes and then um go ahead and do my eye primer while i'm looking the okay so the the color skin got six votes and then from there it went down to um i got five votes on brave and wild rose so i'm going to attempt the skin um since it had the highest votes and i'm going to show you the color on it it literally looks like skin so we're going to attempt those two colors. I'm not sure about these two combined, so we'll just have to play with it. Not sure how it's going to turn out. So, but the here's the other two colors that um, rank third. So this one's called Brave, and it's kind of like a like a cool mauvey pinkish. So that one's Brave, and that one and this one both came in with five votes um these are all really pretty colors and this one's called um wild rose so this one had nine votes this one had six these both had five so and then all the rest had like maybe four and under votes so i had a lot of votes to tally up but we're gonna try these two i may add in a color so that's why I've got these sitting over here so um but we got to get the face going first so I, I debated on whether I was going to put this as eye primer I was debated on putting the eye primer on or not because these matte these lipsticks that I'm putting on my eyes they're a matte lipstick and they don't they have very little transfer but I just can't I just can't can't go without my eye primer because it helps everything stay in place it doesn't budge um even though we kind of got a different um we're not going with shadow i just i don't want to chance it okay let me move this down say hello as you're hopping on i'm gonna make a comment i'm just gonna put my website here it's also in the descriptions um, but we're going to put it here just in case. Oops, if I can type. Okay, and then I will pin that at the top. If it'll let me. There we go. Okay. There we go. So you guys say hello. Maybe I'll see your comments this time. Half the time I don't get to see my comments. So I got a, a pretty little thing going on here she's um she's she's not being very kind to me so i'm just going to do cc cream this takes care of a lot of the redness um it's about a medium coverage but i go with two coats to 
kind of give it just a little extra boost of color or coverage. Um, where's my brushes? Here we go. I need them over here. Look, um, nope, these aren't the right ones. Here it is. Okay, right in front of me. I got this, um, it says Hello Gorgeous. It's for your brushes on my weekend retreat. I love it. It was one of the prizes I won. Um, one of, these are our new foundation brushes. Hey, Ashley. Are you sitting at work? Okay. So, you're going to see the coverage. This is just a, like, it's kind of like a CC cream, but it's, or it is a CC cream. It's kind of like a BB cream. Similar. <clears throat> and I'll have to post the difference between the two. Um, hey, Angie. I've seen you hopped on. It doesn't show me everybody that hops on, but sometimes it'll pop up and show somebody's online with me. Say hello when you hop on. Tell me what you're doing. What you got going on. This Is it Friday? <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. My days are so off. <clears throat> I've got to be at work at 11. So... How's them babies doing, Angie? Them grandbabies. Not your babies. They're all grown. See, nope, I'm at home. Doctor's appointment. Oh, yay. That sounds fun. <laughs> Not sure if I'd rather be at home or at the doctor. I mean, at work or at the doctor's office. Hey, Paula. Good. They're growing up, huh? Yeah, they are. They're getting big. Especially the oldest. She is really getting big. Alright. So, I'm in a medium coverage on the BB cream. And we've got one more that's actually darker than this one. Um. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit and dry. I've already got on my... Um, eye primer. Let's see. I'm going to do my brows real quick. I'm a little nervous about doing this lipstick thing. Uh, baby's be through at the end of the month. Wow. That's crazy. <clears throat> Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Alright. So, I just use the, um, this is the dark brown, uh, brow powder. And then I've, I've got this two-ended brush. Hello, Brandy. Okay. And I just kind of go along with my natural line that I've already got and fill in the um, the bare spots. When it comes to my brows, I just don't get super fancy. Well, because I'm just not a super fancy person. I like to keep it simple. Okay. I'll show you the colors again. I'm, I swabbed them on my, the back of my hand. Let me finish this and I'll show you guys the colors y'all chose. Uh, I'll get a cover right now. Uh, how much does that cost? And what's the exact name? It's called CC Cream. Um, I believe it's sixteen ninety actually, and yes, it works very well. Um, for it to be a medium coverage, it does cover well. So, um, I mean, like that kind of up and you see my little my little friend, it up and disappeared. So, yeah. brows are done. Let me go back over one more time. Hello, Diane. Okay. So, I like to just go over, like I said, we'll go over with the CC cream one more time. Now that it's dried, just for a little extra boost of color, or um, coverage, I mean, not color, coverage.
If y'all have any questions, please comment below your questions. Um, feel free to give me some hearts. It boosts my algorithm, so that always helps. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, let me know. Alright, so that just kind of gave me a little extra coverage. Thank you for the hearts. I'm not sure who's giving them, but thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So, once I get um, all my C the CC on that I'm going to wear, I like to use um, a powder. Sometimes I use a porcelain powder. It kind of gives you that porcelain look. Today, I'm just going to go with the perfecting powder. Um, I'm just using the number four. I don't know what the name of the number four is because it's not on here, so... Um, and then that's just going to set my CC cream and it'll also give you a little extra coverage so I'm going to have to do because um, I'm undecided and I want y'all's opinions um, whether or not you like the porcelain powder or just like this is kind of like a matte ow my neck popped um, a matte finish so I'm just curious what y'all like best so we'll just I'll have to take a picture of both ways um, and see what y'all like best because the finish is um, makes a difference so all right now that we got all that in there dogs are in there going crazy all right what next? We'll go ahead and finish my face. Um, this is the sculpting palette. I just mix these two and just um, put it on my brush. There we go. Just mix these two and just kind of sculpt my face. You're not really supposed to go past this point um sometimes i get a little crazy with it so but it's all good if i do it'll all come together <clears throat> and then to um just kind of go right along that jawline or right under it and that's going to make your um jaw up here thinner it's going to give your jaw definition and kind of make your it's going to create a shadow to make your neck look thinner and just take the excess and go down with it i always like to make sure everything is good and blended because you don't want to look like it's just kind of thrown on um so that's and then here lately I've been taking the white highlight in the sculpting palette and just kind of going right through here with it. It just kind of defines it. Okay. Um, that is the face sculpting palette. Alright, so. I'll do my highlight real quick. Um, actually this is a blush powder but I like to use it as a highlighter. Um. I got a new a new fan brush. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. I've never used one before. <laughs> but just gonna highlight with it. Said, I'm still not used to that. Um, I feel like I just need to blend it better with one of these brushes. There we go. Oh, I forgot my blush. I forgot to put blush on. Alright. Um, where's my blush? I'm going to use the number 17. I think this one. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I don't know the name of it. 
but this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm just going to go right in here. My hair is in my face. Okay. I'm a little nervous about doing my eyes. I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. Okay, so blush is on. Now I just need to blend it good. Knock off any excess because I've got as much as I want on there. And just blend it in. Okay. Alright. Now, off to the eyes. So these are the two colors I got. I don't have a plan. I'm just going to go with it. Alright. So we're going to go in with the 201. That's the skin color. And let me just get some brushes out here because I'm going to need them. Um, I don't need that one. Not the best I do know. Alright. So I'm probably just going to go all over. So you could dip your brush onto the or get color off of the brush or just use the brush however you want so the skin is um, oops, not much color there but I think it's gonna work I'm just kind of blending it up I'll add a little more right in here. Come up with it. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I picked some good colors. And these lipsticks are very blendable. They are um, actually work very well for an eyeshadow. Um, I mean, honestly, I could almost go like a supernatural look with just that color. I had a phone call. She'll call me 500 times. That's my sister. She'll call 500 times. Well, come on, I'm see if I can. Yep. I'm gonna invite her so she knows I'm on here if I can invite her. Yep. Because she will pester me thinking I am ignoring her. <laughs> so, there we go. Because Terry is a pester. Does she do that to any of you guys? I know April, April, you're on here. I think Angie's still on here. She, if you don't answer your, her call, she calls a hundred times. Alright. So I'm just kind of making that a little darker. And blending it out. Alright. <laughs> I see this, this, the laugh, I just seen the laughy face. <laughs> Y'all know it's true. <laughs> okay. Um, alright, so I'm going to go in this purple. So, this was your votes. This was the skin. That's what I just put on. This is the, uh, the purple. I may do an ombre look on the, uh, are you f button me? <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, I may do an ombre look with these two on my lips. I'm going to try it. I don't know how well it's going to look. Hey, Black Bee. Um, so we're going to go with the purple. These two won. This one by, by a long shot. And then these two tied. So it was one. These two are one less than this one. So. Um, but all these colors are pretty that y'all picked. Okay. Let's try to go. Heifer, don't call me much. <laughs> well, she probably wants something. So, you know. 
Actually, she probably wants to tell me something. I don't know. Who knows? So I'm just trying to create a C here. Is what I'm trying to do. And then I will blend that. Brush. I'm going to have to clean my brushes once this is done. So i got to be real easy with it. Um, went a little further down than I wanted to, but that's okay. Okay. So the great thing about this is because I went, hey Carol, too far here. Hopefully that'll cover. Add it on and then it'll dry eventually. Alright. Uh, will this last all day? Keep keep us posted. Absolutely. It will absolutely last all day. These, for one, I put the eye primer on. Um, and two, the, um, this lipstick has very little transfer. And I mean very little transfer. But once you add the eye primer, I'm pretty sure it won't go nowhere. So, but I will keep you updated. I'll do a before and after pick. Of course, I do. I'm going to have to work all day, too. So, we'll see. We will see. Okay. So, I know it looks kind of a hot mess right now. But I'm going to let it sit there for a second. I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, let me see if I can get them close to the thing. And try to create the C. Yeah, it's a hot mess, but uh, see now it's very pretty color. Thank you. I love this. This is called confident. And just this color alone on your eyes is really pretty. So I'm glad it got like nine votes. Um, I was kind of hoping for that one and not like some bold, crazy colors. So. But yeah, this color alone looks really pretty. Of course, you know, the skin, you don't see much of it, but. It just looks like my natural skin, kind of. Um, okay. Alright. So now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. Wipe it off. Make sure there's nothing on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we're just going to... Actually, I need to put something up here for transitioning. Um, let's see. I'm just going to use this white um, out of the face sculpting palette. It's just going to kind of highlight that. That's not exactly dry yet, but okay. So we're just going to blend it out. So if you're just hopping on, this color and this color were the two colors that got voted in. The other two colors were tied at one under the, uh, one under this one. Okay. So y'all see the difference between blending it out? It makes a world of difference. And now this one's probably dry, so we can kind of go in and blend it.
and I'm probably going to take and um, wipe off the excess and go in with a highlighter or something just to kind of give um, give it a just make it pop just going to make it pop And you just really got to blend it out. That's key. Okay. I'm going to be real honest. I'm not too fond of the skin color with this one. Um, but that was your vote. So we're just going to stay with that. Alright. Um, I'm going to take my foundation brush. And just kind of clean that up a little bit. Of course, when I add the liner, it's going to kind of take care of that, too. Whew. Poke myself in the eye. Okay. So, I have a highlighting palette that I am going to attempt. So, this is like a pinkish color. I don't know if y'all can tell real well, but this is like a pinky color. So, I'm just going to take and take... Um, take this angled brush and go in right here with that. Somebody's knocking at my door. One sec, that's weird. Nobody knocks on my door. him so we don't answer the door to strangers. Whew. That's so weird. Okay. So that is a little more than I wanted. Like I said, once all this is put together with the liner It'll come together. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that out. I have no clue who that dude was. But I don't answer the door to strangers. I'm worried about people knocking on my door that I don't know is coming beforehand. So yeah. that gets the eebie-jeebies when somebody knocks on your door and you don't know what they're coming. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Because I don't really care much for the skin, we're just kind of... Uh, not be messing up here, but... I'm just going with it, y'all. I'm just kind of bringing up that shimmer there. Hey Rhonda, how are you doing? Alright. So this is this color and this color <coughs> lipsticks. <coughs> and then I put the shimmer over the skin because I didn't care much for it. So, um, what else, what else, what else? So we need to go in with the eyeliner. Ooh, actually, I want to put, um, I want to go underneath, where did my lipstick go? Here it is. With that purple under my eyes. What do y'all think about that? So I'm just going to take, this is actually a brow brush. And maybe a little bit. 
and go under. I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see it too. The dogs were inside when that man came to the door. Alright. Should I do some kind of funky color eyeliner? Debating. Debating. Alright. We're gonna do, let's just go on to the eyeliner. All right, so I always love, love, love to use the ink liner for the top part of my eye. It glides on very well, it's got a felt tip. Um, it's easy to control. You can kinda almost just lay it across your um, lashes and then when we get here oh my god it doesn't stop okay all right I'll do my wing in just a second Just go up with there and then connect. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to make that be quiet. It keeps. I don't know if y'all can hear that ding, ding, ding. See, Abby wanted me to tell you that she did her wings and you taught her all. <laughs> Let's see, now she's doing her shadows. Cool. That's awesome. I, I will say, whoops, does she mess up like I do? <laughs> uh, I am not the best at it. I just try. I'll just give her a try. You just gotta keep trying, you mess up. There we go. So they're not exactly the same, but that's okay. They are gonna have to work. I always do better on this side than I do this one. I don't understand. I don't understand it. It's really bothering me though. Mm. Do it. It's really bothering me. So, I'm just going to. 
to take that off. And redo. Paul, get out of her thing. Alright. So. Actually, it already looks better. Okay. Let me fix that because I can't. I just can't do that. I can't stand it. Let me put a dab of um, CC back on there and we'll just go with that. And just pat it in. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't like that wing. It was it was probably one of the worst wings I've ever done. <laughs> and then we can just take and the fluffy brush. Blend out what color we have there. Just blend it on out. Now, where'd my liner go? We're going to re-attempt this. I'm not going to do too much more to it. Cause... There we go. Well. It's better than it was. And it's closer to what I have over there. Okay. So, what should I do on the waterline? I think I'm going to go with, because I do have um, the purple, you can't really see, I don't know if y'all can see that little bit of purple under here, mm -hmm. little tint of purple, I think I'm going to do like something a little crazy, like, like a blue, oh, while I'm on here, let me show you guys. There it is. Oh, I can't keep up with nothing. Alright. Mm. Of course it goes to the back of the drawer. So I just want to show you how good the liners are. So that's the one I use on top. Um, right there. We'll give, it, give it a second to dry. And then we'll do, this is the waterproof. That's, that's what I'm going to do on the waterline. This is the waterproof. Um, I think it's Express Waterproof Pencil. You see how when you put on, which not necessarily at the bottom, but when you put on eyeliner, it just kind of brings it all together, <clears throat> in my opinion. <clears throat> what y'all think about the blue underneath? Is it too much? I'm thinking I'm going to do like a, we'll go in with the express, um, or extra last black too. We'll just kind of play with it. Just so we can kind of bring these together. About that. I'll smudge that out. I can find my brush. got like a little smudger on the um on one side and I uh, found it or uh, I shot a brush on the end on the other end so I'm just kind of smudging out the black and bringing it over Okay, 
I think I'm going to leave that part alone. Just going to leave that alone. Hey, Darla. How are you doing? Okay, so we've got mascara, lipstick, and setting spray left. Um, I always, always, always use setting spray. I'm thirsty. Okay, so the eyes didn't turn out too terribly bad. So, setting spray. It's going to create a barrier and keep your, all your stuff in place all day long. Hey, Evie. Um, so, it's a very important step um, that you should never skip on putting your makeup on. I think everybody needs setting spray. I think everybody needs primer, setting spray, and eye primer. Face primer, eye primer, and setting spray. They're like, they're going to be the game changer in your makeup. Um, girl, um, I'm scheduling makeovers. Um, I've got some spots open. Um, I love doing makeovers. I absolutely love doing makeovers. They're fun. They're so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to do the two colors I used on my eyes, on my lips. But I'm going to do like an ombre look. So... Transfer that to the top. I actually use this Confident um, a lot, but I usually use it with a like a pink to do the ombre look. Do the pink in the middle. Hello, Brandy. just gonna go with that and then um, the darker the the lip colors are the better they stay on I don't I don't know why but that's just what I've experienced so these are non-transferable uh, matte lipsticks and uh, the more or the darker it is just the better it stays on it just it as it fades throughout the day when you eat and drink and stuff not real sure I'm digging the this color I'm just gonna work with it for a second yeah that's not gonna work that's not gonna work for me so we're just, we're just gonna we're gonna go with one of the other colors that y'all had chose We'll see. This one's brave. This is the 205. Yeah. It's going to look much better. Uh, as far as doing that, like an ombre look with this color. And then we'll go. Much better. What do y'all think? Probably could have gone a little darker with the purple on my eyes, but we didn't. So, and I'm not going back to do this. I'm going to be at work at 11, y'all. What time is it? 10 <laughs> 13. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, hello, Amanda. Draw spot there. Okay, so mascara. No. Curl my lashes. Um, I have been using the lash serum. Um, it's working. It's for a lash serum that is. It's for your lashes and your brows. It's like twenty seven eight bucks. Hey Annie, and um, I'm. Not quite done with my bottle. I'm a little bit 
about a quarter away from being, um, being done with it. And I'm going to post my results and my lashes. So y'all watch for that. Um, hi, you're late. Story of my life, girl. The story of my life. I'm always late for everything. Alright. Um, I'm going to use the deep black. We just go with a deep black. We've got seven different mascaras. And um, of course I have my favorites. So we're just going to I'll show you Annie what colors we use. I just poke myself in the eye on that one. I'm gonna wait to put the bottom one on while while my tears are draining down. <laughs> Whew. Um. Okay. So I always do two coats of mascara. So if there's any looks that y'all see that you want me to attempt with pharmacy makeup, let me know. Um, so I'm going to start doing more lives. I need creative ideas. And not Halloween makeup because I suck at that. <laughs> I'm always up for a good challenge though, I guess. So. Alright, let me do my... No, I'm going to do my second coat, actually. Without Pokemon this time. Hey, who wants a makeover? No, I'm kidding. But no, really, who wants a makeover? I really am scheduling makeovers. Um... I've got some openings for next week. Um, and I'm also booking parties. I'm going to start going. This is something new. I haven't done with pharmacy yet. But. I'm going to start booking parties. And um, so if you're interested in that. I'm not going to announce my incentive. Um on a live but I will private message you my incentives um they're pretty good so I'm gonna say so if you want to know what they are just message me and and then you can think about doing a party if that's something you're interested in so if you want to know what they are just message me I always think about doing like these ma magnetic fake lashes um, that I've bought and never used yet. But I typically just, when I get on here, I'm like, eh, don't think so. Although they do make your look change drastically. Seriously, make them look. Way different. That's the deep black. There we go. 
we're all done. So. I kind of wish I would have went a little more dramatic. Dramatic. Oh, Lord. <laughs> dramatic with the purple. Part of me wants to go back in with a little more, but. Part of me don't. Part of me does, though. Just so it matches a little more with my, I'm trying to do this without messing up my stupid wings that I worked so hard on. Oh yeah, I forgot to show, um. This one was, this is the one I'm working on now, and you'll see the transfer, the no transfer actually. Um, this is the skin, that's the two y'all chose, and then these two colors got third, tied in third place, so, what you doing? Oh yeah, that's much better, like, I should have done that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Much prettier. Now, let me take my handy dandy fluffy. Oh, let's see. Give that a minute to, give that a minute to kind of dry up a little bit. Um, oops, sorry puppy, I didn't mean to step on you. They get up right under my toes and my feet and just, they fight under my, play fight under my feet and it's just like, oh my gosh. Anyways. Um, so this, these are the two liners that I used. So I used the one on, up top and then the blue and I forgot to swap the other one. Anyways, so these are the liners, y'all. Y'all see how much they don't budge? I mean, I'm not, I'm not rubbing lightly. So, and then you can see the lipsticks. I love this brand. So affordable. And it's so good. I guess I could do another video on why they're affordable. We won't get in that into that today, but yeah. So much better. Now the purple just kind of pops. I like that. Okay. Much better. What do y'all think? Is that better? than what I had before. Okay. I'm all done. Thanks for the like. I'm not sure who I don't know why I can't touch who's who's doing the you know, the emoji. The emojis. I like them though. So, um, looks great. Thank you, Annie. Um, I try my best. I do, I do. Look, I won't stop blending if I don't make myself stop. Blending is key. All right. Stop. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you don't care, go ahead and share my video. The more people see it, the more um, I can uh, help with any issues they may be having skincare wise or if they just need a good 
foundation or any kind of makeup so anyways if you will share my video i would appreciate that thank you for watching y'all have a good day i'm off to work